My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Squid Game. Just game. Every time I say it, I want to say Squid Games, but no, it's not pro, it's single Squid Game. But anyways, everybody's talking about this show. It's getting amazing reviews, everyone's going nuts for it. It's one of the most viewed shows on Netflix ever. And I have to say, it for the most part lives up to the hype. I just think people can really relate to a show right now where an evil empire is trying to divide people up and get them to fight each other. <laughs> Very relatable for this day and age. But anyways, uh, this show is really fantastic. The way that people watched Star Wars and The Hunger Games and Harry Potter for the first time, I think they can get lots of what made those three franchises special in this show. See, it's a shame because eventually they're going to reboot Harry Potter. They're doing a prequel to The Hunger Games now. They're going to make Star Wars movies forever and ever. And the truth is, why we love those franchises is never going to exist the same way it once did. The same way that we love those franchises exist in original properties like this one. That has great characters, a great universe, and a great story. Just every single character on this show is so well defined. You've got people that you really hate at first, and you just hate them throughout. Kind of like Draco Malfoy. You've got characters that you really root for. You've got characters that you start off liking but start to hate throughout. There's characters that you don't think you like at first but you really start to sympathize throughout. It's just got so many great, well-defined, well-realized characters and that's what great's about this show because as everything was going down in this show, you always care. You always care what's going on because the characters are so well written and that is what makes great stories. All the performances in the show are amazing but there's a few I have to mention and I will definitely mispronounce their names. Lee Jung Ju is fantastic. Park Huo Su is really great. Jung Huion is fantastic as well and Wu Yan Sa is really great. Sorry if I mispronounce those names but those four actors and actresses really delivered special performances and the, just the way they brought their characters to life, they felt like real people. And I love how everyone starts off as one way and by the end you can see that every single character is changing by the end because they have gone through some terrible stuff and that's just a good progression of story. Just watching these characters change. Everything that's happening to them has an effect. So every single moment isn't just entertaining but it actually impacts the story and the character. The story of this show is really fantastic. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I don't want to spoil it for people who might not know what it's about. I wish that was the case with me. I wish in the first episode when I realized what it was about, I had that shock, but I didn't because I already knew. So don't look into the show. Don't read the plot, just watch it. But the story is really fantastic. And I just love the world they set up here. Just everything from a directing standpoint is absolutely top notch. They really bring the, this world to life in such an interesting way. I love the production design and the costume design. I love the big empty rooms that are just white everywhere. I love the big colorful mazes. Just everything about the production design I absolutely loved and the costumes of the people walking around with the different shapes on their faces and how there's a chain of command between each shape. I just really feel like everything about this show is so fully realized that they put lots of thought and attention into it and it really shows. But this show also delivers on such wild emotions. Like this show is thrilling. It is intense. And when I say intense, I really do mean intense. This show has some of the most intense moments I've seen in a very long time. I was on the edge of my seat with my palms were sweaty, mom's spaghetti. It was just phenomenal stuff. I don't want to give it away, but when you get to certain moments, you're just so into it. And I love how brutal the show can also be in moments. I think the use of its brutality really does have a purpose. And the show is also super emotional. There are some moments that just broke my heart. Uh, there's one episode, episode 6. Just that entire episode is just so heartbreaking. And it really shows how far you've come to care for these characters. And I just thought all that stuff was so well handled. Now, I will say that I have two complaints with this show. The first one is, is that there's a few characters that come into play in a certain episode. And just the way they talked, it felt like the dialogue was written by a 12-year-old. And that just kind of took me out of it. It was probably an intentional choice, but a choice that didn't work for me. 
And my second one is, is that there's a storyline about a man behind enemy lines. And just the way that whole storyline pays off, I don't think it was satisfying at all. So I was disappointed with those two things. But that said, the show was so perfect. I loved everything about all the characters. It was emotional. It was thrilling and intense. There was this world that was on display and fully realized. I was still ready to give this show a 10 out of 10 despite those two issues. But then we get to the finale. And I'll discuss it more in my spoiler review of this show. I hated the last half of this finale. I think that they did stuff that did not work for me whatsoever, that undid some stuff that was handled so expertly up until that point. Uh, I don't understand why they made certain decisions, but I'll go more in depth in that in a later review coming out in a few days. But that all said, I still really love this, sh this show. The finale, yeah, it sucks, but it doesn't ruin the greatness that came before it. I can still watch the first eight and a half episodes and just love it so much every single time I'll rewatch it. And I'll definitely rewatch it. Like I said, I think this show has all the elements that made stories like Star Wars and Harry Potter and The Hunger Games resonate with so many people. And I think all those things are present here. I absolutely love this show. I can't recommend it enough. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10. It could go up to a 9 out of 10, but just for now, that finale really left a wrong taste in my mouth. So, we'll see. But anyways, have you seen Squid Game? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon, and Gavin out.